Welcome to List of 13. I'm Megan. And I'm Rob. Thanks for watching. We make lists on various topics, find 13 awesome facts, and present them to you. If you have tristodectophobia, this video may not be for you. Otherwise, enjoy the list. Here at Lists of 13, we like cars. Some may even say we have an unhealthy obsession with them. It doesn't matter what kind of car it is, we are interested in them. Fast cars, slow cars, new cars, old cars, American cars, imports, any kind of cars. In this series, we are talking about cars. All kinds of cars. The good, the bad, and the things that you probably didn't know. Today we're bringing you a car company that is one of the oldest American car companies and one of the wealthiest also. Today we bring you 13 facts about Chevrolet that you probably didn't know. Number one, Chevrolet sold its first car for $2,150 or $64,698 in today's money. It's kind of funny because a lot of times people are like, oh, cars were so much cheaper back then, not counting for inflation. Right. Number two, the commission. Camaro was originally going to be called the Panther. I'm really glad they didn't call it that. Right, especially since Ford has a car that is the Lincoln Town Car, Mercury Grand Marquis, and Ford Crown Victoria, which they call the Panther Platform. Number three, since its launch, the Chevy Camaro was built to compete with the Ford Mustang. This rivalry is touted to be the longest rivalry of Detroit. My opinion, Ford has hands down won the competition. I know there's some people that will disagree, but that's okay. Number four, the Chevy Bowtie logo was introduced two years after the company was founded. There are many stories about what inspired William C. Durant, co-founder of Chevrolet, to use it. However, no one is really sure. Well, that's cool. I actually like the logo. I think it fits its vehicles. And they all just look kind of fancy because everybody's wearing a bow tie. Right. Number five, the Chevelle was built at 10 different assembly plants in two countries over the course of its lifespan. You know, they sure moved around a lot. That car wasn't produced for that many years and to have that many plants, that's quite a lot. I bet the countries were the United States and Canada. Number six, Chevrolet stopped producing civilian vehicles during World War II so they could help the war effort. Converting their plant allowed them to build T-17 Staghound armored scout cars as well as airplane engines. That's really cool that they could make their plants that versatile. Right, there were some other companies that did similar things. Mitsubishi did that for Japan and BMW you did that for Germany. We want to thank you again and tell you how much it means for you to watch this video. We would really appreciate if you would do some things to help our channel grow and reach more people. We would be so grateful for you to subscribe to the channel, like this video, ring the bell, and share this video with your friends. As a result, YouTube will share our video with more people. Number seven, the first Chevy was sold November 3rd, 1911. Number eight, the GT racing circuit was dominated by Ferrari and Maserati when the C5 Corvette was just launched, but that did not deter it from winning the Le Mans in 2001 and the following year securing second place. That's pretty impressive. Number nine, the co-founder and namesake of Chevrolet, Louis Chevrolet, was born in the year 1878 in Switzerland, not in the United States. So much for that whole Go America, Apple Pie and Chevrolet business. Number 10, between 1961 and 1964, Chevrolet produced a truck known as the Corvair 95 ramp side. Interestingly enough, the inspiration for the Corvair line was Volkswagen, which is why the engines were located in the rear of the vehicle. For the Corvair 95 trucks, that meant a cab forward design with a 100 105 inch or 8 foot 9 inch truck bed. That's a really long truck. Right. I mean, really, it was a truck on a van chassis. And having the person with a cab forward design where they were sitting right over the front of the truck, it made that long bed possible. Number 11. Chevrolet toyed with the idea of a Camaro station wagon in 1970 and again in 1971. The planned name was to be Camback. See, I think that would have actually been a really, really cool car 
are, but I wasn't alive yet, so they couldn't ask me. Well, I mean, I know that your opinion is great and all, but I'm not sure that you would have been, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back to decide that they needed to make the cam back. I'm just saying it would have been a cool car. Number 12, the Chevrolet Suburban Carryall was the first SUV to hit the market. It holds the record for the longest running line of SUVs. It was introduced back in 1933 in order to compete with Studebaker's wagons. Suburbans? They're really pretty cool. Yeah, they're probably one of the most decent Chevy vehicles in my opinion. And number 13. Although Chevy currently has the Bolt for sale as their only electric vehicle, they will soon have more. There will be all-electric Blazers available in summer 2023. The all-electric Equinoxes and Silverados will be available in the fall of 2023. And honestly, in my opinion, that's going the right way. Getting in the game a little bit before some of their competitors even have a single electric vehicle is probably good for where the industry's headed. We hope that you enjoyed this list of 13 things about Chevrolet. Tell us which fact was the most surprising. Or perhaps if you drive a Chevy, what do you drive? Thanks again for watching. If you have an idea for a new video, tell us in the comments. We'll mention you if we do it. We hope you have an awesome day. And please be, be kind, kind to, to each, each other. other.